I, I, I look at things rationally and I see miracles. I look at things rationally and I, and I see God's hands. And I see it really happening. But the idea what we're thinking is being about today is not, as I said, not charity. It's we understand that we cannot continue leaving this project of the return of the Jewish people back home, of the bones of not being dry anymore. We can't leave it for ourselves. We have to give other people the privilege of being part of writing these next chapters of the Bible. Because that's what we're doing. And if anybody here wants to be part in it, here's your chance. Anybody here want to be part of writing the next chapters? I didn't hear you. Anybody here want to be part? It's a sign of the times that Jews and Christians are coming together united on the issue of Israel. All over the world it is Christians who are gathering and acting and supporting on the behalf of the state of Israel and the well-being of our people. We're united by the issue of Jerusalem, the city where we parted ways over 2,000 years ago. Seeing you here tonight it reminds me of King Solomon's words in Ecclesiastes. Every time there is a purpose and a season under heaven. I believe that the 21st century has brought a new purpose to us and a new season under heaven and that the time is now for us to unite and work together. I'm a teller of stories. I'm a singer of songs. I am Alvin Namajira and I paint the ghostly gowns. I'm Clancy on his horse. I'm the Kelly on the run. I'm the one who waltz Matilda. I am Australia. How Australia responds to Israel matters. How we pray for the peace of Jerusalem matters. How we pray for, treat, respect and lift up God's holy chosen people, the Jewish people, matters. It's important. It's important to reach out in love and grace to God's holy chosen people, the Jews. It is a great privilege to be able to do it and a great privilege to be able to serve in this way. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for honouring Israel with your time and your talents, uh, with your presence and with everything that you bring. Uh, please pray for the peace of Israel. What we do here tonight is worthwhile, it's valuable, and it is worthy of this day and every day. Amen. We want to see Jewish people come back. Should we do it? The Bible says in Isaiah 49, it is the Gentiles, the nations, that will bring the Jewish people back on their shoulders. They will carry them in their arms. And if you believe the scripture, and if you read it with an intent of entering into the story, I want to enter the story. My name might not be Nehemiah or King David, but again, as Josh said, we're everyday people, but we believe in a mighty God. And our efforts can make a difference it's not because of the need to see a poor Jewish person come home. This is because God Almighty has laid it as a challenge to us and said, this will happen. We know that we are not alone. We know that standing by our side are so many Christian friends of Israel throughout the world who are fervently dedicated to securing the future of the one and only Jewish state. You help secure Israel's future when you support Israel's right to defend itself. You help secure Israel's future when you invest in Israel and strengthen our dynamic and innovative economy. And you help secure Israel when you support Aliyah, the return of the Jewish people to their ancestral homeland. Your partnership with Karen Ayesod is very important to us. So on behalf of the people of Israel, I want to thank you for your solidarity. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for working to help secure our common future and no less important, our common values.